In our last Hard Grind Man episode, we'd finally finished a fractured Staff of Armadol. It took over 100 hours of grinding and over 660 solo hard mode Carapac kill. We managed to not make a single mistake in any of those kills, and despite one very scary disconnect, we walked away with our brand new staff. But Carapac is the old thing, and Necromancy is the new, shiny, absolutely insanely powerful thing. And if we get into Necromancy right away on this account, it's going to give me access to just about the entire game. Let me explain. When you're leveling through an Iron Man progression, whether you use ranged, melee, or magic, you have to play through 10 years of content to be able to do any damage. Every year, content gets released that adds a small amount of incremental power creep to those existing styles. And what that means is that although I've got my Fractured Staff of Armadol, if I don't go to Solak and get a Grimoire, and go to Raksha and get a Greater Chain, and go to Zuck and get a Magma Tempest Codex, and so many other tiny little marginal upgrades, I'm not really gonna have the juice. But Necromancy, you get the juice upon arrival. The final goal for this account is to have the full best in slot gear for every combat style. And at the time I started this series, there were only three. But now, there's a fourth combat style, and it's actually the combat style that I wanna knock out completely as our next goal. So, in this mini series of videos, let's train Necromancy on our Hard Cry Iron Man with absolutely no prep. Let's get up to Raziel, and then I wanna farm him for his entire seven piece set of tier 95 gear. Not only should it be an absolute ton of fun, but this gear is insanely practical for PVM. It's powerful, it allows a ton of damage output, and it should allow me to access almost every single piece of content in the game after this. So, without further ado, the adventures of Tall and Manly continue. Oh my god, I'm about to die! No! Help! Oh my god! No! Okay, that's not a good start. Ha! Foreshadowing, perhaps. Uh, the plan is today we're gonna be doing an authentic, raw, real playthrough of Necromancy on a hardcore Iron Man that has done basically no prep. So it is gonna be a, a, a completely authentic playthrough. I'm actually so excited. I think it's gonna be so much fun to play through Necromancy. I mean, basically the way it was intended, right? The idea was you could make a new account and play through. Now, I obviously, it's not a new account. I've got some stuff on the account, but with no prep, we're gonna be going in on a hardcore and it is gonna be absolutely awesome. Oh boy, welcome to Tull and Manly. The goal is to get Raziel Log, and I am so excited and terrified at the same time. At least I have 19 necromantic focuses, though. That's pretty good. Um, Yeah, I'm just, I'm really, really intrigued because th this Iron Man had a huge problem. This Iron Man's problem was quite simply, I had magic, I had a Fasoa, and I had absolutely nothing else. I had no juice, I had no other combat style that would get me into other bosses. Like, I need to do next at some point. I have no way to do next. You can't do next with magic. I'm 86 ranged, I have a blowpipe, I have no range armor, like, I I'm hoping Necromancy offers us a solution to our problem, because we can play through Necromancy, and it should give us good, powerful access to every content in the game. So, I'm actually, I'm really, really excited, it should be awesome. I do believe it's Necromancy time. I died. Bang, two Necromancy. That's level three. All right, that is level five Necromancy coming in. I died so many times on my main, and we're gonna have to not do that on this account. But yeah, I'm excited to actually take my time. All right, Necromancy, mini quest complete. Well, I guess real quest complete. I think step one is we should grind our 30,000 souls. Uh, okay, I'm gonna finish this task. And then what we're gonna do is, I think we're gonna go to the Undead Troll Cave. I'll get my Salve Amulet and stuff, and we're gonna get some early levels like that. Um, I also do have access to POD and new chapters and stuff too, so that's a really good option as well. But yeah, dude, the XP from this is actually really, really good. That's level six necromancy coming in. Dude, day one, we're already almost done. That's level seven. Dude, this is really fast. That's level eight necromancy coming in. That's level 10 necromancy coming in. Level 11. Level 12. That's level 14. That's level 15. Level 16. That's level 18 necromancy coming in. That's level 19. I need 15. Oh, so I should actually plant some sheep. Okay. I'll plant some sheep right now then. Before level 20. Plant some sheep. Yeah. You plant them in the ground. You water them and they grow. Hello? That is 20 necromancy. Which means we can do killy row, which is very important. That's how we get our upgrades. But let's get some sheep in the ground. Am I making tanker power gear? Tank all the way. The the tank gear is is so much better on a hardcore. In general, actually. Like, it's, it's so good. All right, Killy, what are we doing? You must be tall and manly. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so now I have to ritual the tools. Easy, easy. Let's go. 
Okay, so we're gonna win Soul Killy's tools. That's level 21 necromancy, huge. And I guess I'll just get like 600 necroplasm, right? Right off rip, yeah. Yeah, th this I actually think is gonna be totally fine. 21 levels into the necromancy pathway and we are already leaving the necromancy pathway. Oh, I have to loot the ashes and they get ported away. Okay, I get it. I get it now, I get it. All right, let's go. Ink time. That is level 22 necromancy. Wait, this is actually decent XP. Oh my God, I'm already out of necroplasm. That was two seconds. Okay, great. Well, let's go. Yeah. So far, this doesn't seem so bad, actually. I'll do three more of these just for them to break, and then we'll make the new ones for the tools. Yeah, I think the most important thing for efficient necromancy training, though, is every 10 levels, you actually want to stop and upgrade your gear. 22 levels in, but yeah, so the idea is we're going to grind until we have the Razio log on this account. And I just, I think it's going to be so much fun on a hardcore end, man. I also think it's a great boss fight for a hardcore, too. That is 23. That is level 24 necromancy, which means I can now do the rune mythos quest as well, which is very important because rune mythos quest required for unlocking the uh, teleport to this place, which I guess I won't really be using on an Iron Man, but still good to have. No okay, Raziel. Dude, in like two days, I'm going to be clapping you. That is 25 necromancy coming in. Do I have full subjugation? I don't even have any subjugation. But that's okay, because it's only needed for the tier 80 and the tier 90 tank gear, right? I think I can get pretty far with the tier 70 if I want to. That is level 26 necromancy. Yeah, this seems really good for the lower levels, actually. Like, this is uh, a good training experience. That is 27 necromancy. All the bars for, for tier 60 are done. That did not take very much time. That is 29 necromancy coming in. That is level 30 necromancy coming in. That's 31 necromancy coming in. That is level 32 necromancy coming in. 33 necromancy, dude, this is a great way to train. 34 necromancy, let's freaking go, dude. That is 35 necromancy. Let's get equipped. So now I've got tier 20 death ward, but I'm already level 30, so I guess let's do the level 32. We may as well send it. Tier 30. Um, Let's do the rune mythos quest. Okay, so now I have alteration glyphs. Beautiful. All right. Rune mythos quest complete. Give me some lamps. Give me that. Give me that. That is level 37 necromancy. And I got a new teleport unlocked. Cool. Okay, cool. So that's the easy task set complete. That is 38 necromancy. Wait, we almost have to do another armor upgrade. I haven't even killed stuff yet. Now, why don't I just kill him here? It would appear I have 51% hit chance here. Actually, this is pretty good. I'm getting a level every four I kill. This is my first tactical error, I think. And it's not even that bad. Conjures are good for this. Let's see. Actually, skeleton, go. I forgot, yeah, because I am doing single target. I mean, this isn't the worst thing I've ever done. Editor puts out a list of every worst thing that I've done. 97.5% chance to have gotten them. <laughs> Actually, f*** this game. So I'm going to be doing a new series. It's going to be called Terrific Tips. That is level 39 necromancy coming in. That is 41 necromancy coming in. All right, Killy, give me my tier 40. All right, awesome. My hardcore is going for Rassio Log. So I'm not going for 120. I'm going for Rassio Log. So I'm probably going to go to Rassio at... That's 42 arc. Uh, so 42 arc. Jesus. That is 43 necromancy. Yeah, this is going to be fast, dude. This is going to be really fast. Wait, this is 90 KXP an hour? Okay, this is fine. I, I should not be bad about this. That's level 44 coming in. I did not realize it was this good. That's my first soul captured. Huge. All right, four more. That's another soul. Beautiful. Three more to go. Because yeah, I think once we're in our, in our POD... We can probably start aggro potting them. That's a third soul, big. That is 46 necromancy coming in. That is level 47 necromancy. Ooh, new ability unlocked bloat at level 48. Okay, I think bloat is actually probably good. That's another soul, soul number four. One more to go, and then we can get out of the dungeon and get into our POD. That is level 50 necromancy coming in. It's absolutely huge. Okay, I just, I'm, I'm getting this last soul. We're not leaving till I get my soul. This is like, I. Surely I don't I don't want to run all the way back down. No, we're just just give me the soul, please. I got my soul. Okay. Let's get out of here. Necromancer slippers. Alright, bye Mogers. Y'all are the worst. You guys cost me world first. That is level 51 necromancy coming in. It's huge. Alright, soul urn has been filled, which means it is time to go back to the smithy. And we should be getting tier 50 stuff now. Huge upgrade. That is a full set of tier 50 gear. Wait, dude, look at this. Yeah, we're currently at 120k per hour. I think it's going to go up from there, too. Yeah, I am a little dented. You're not wrong. That is a little 52 necromancy coming in. That is 53 necromancy. Yeah, we're, we're moving now. We're moving. All right, that is a little 54 necromancy, which means 
Soul Sap and Soul Strike, which means it's time for a brand new and improved Revo Bar. That is level 55 Necromancy coming in. That is 56. That's level 57 already. What are you doing, buddy? Uh-uh. No. A menace. Actually, what what's your brokest you've ever been in RuneScape Story? Mine, by far, was probably like 12, 13 years ago. I was so broke. I was elking the KBD heads from what used to be my drop tab. They elk for like 20k each. That was by far my brokest. I had like eight KBD heads. I'd been collecting them. And I like, I was like a, a kid. I was like tearfully like elking them. That is 58 necromancy coming in. My first RSGF took your bank. Oh man, what was his name? <laughs> his name was the RS guy? <laughs> Wait a second. I used to go to God Wars dungeon, like God Wars 1, and I was never good enough to kill the bosses. I could never kill the bosses. But what I would do is I would wait in the room and I'd hop around until I found someone that I thought wasn't very good at PVMing. And I'd wait for them to hopefully die. I would just be like chilling, just waiting. And then whenever they die, I would, I'd have kill count already. And I'd run in for like four seconds and spam eat food and then try to loot all their stuff. Can you imagine the pressure trying to get your first guard or kill? And there's a flock of noobs just <laughs> waiting to collect all the stuff you drop on the floor. 59 Necromancy coming in. That is level 60 Necromancy coming in. We actually just unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. Slash rookie slash the RS guy. <laughs> Why does my head look like that? Have my sheep bred? That's a great question. Yes, it's that one. Okay, I need it to grow though. That's fine. So that one will work once it grows up. Sweet. Greater communion, spirit memento. Don't have any. Dra yeah, I mean, honestly, dragonkin bones. This is going to be good. I need commune one and two commune twos. Yeah, this is sick. This is really good. And then all my multiplies. Okay. I should be getting, uh, what, 36 souls per. Sponge just got a soulbound lantern. I can't believe in inf me. What? Sponge! <laughs> this is so sad. He said I don't need the dead weight. That is 64 necromancy. Big day. That is level 65 necromancy coming in. I am now all the levels for Spirit of War. Now, I don't have enough souls. We're going to be stopping at 2,000. We're currently at 1348, so no Spirit of War just yet. Would you rather have $100,000 or have one chance to catch a cheese it thrown from 10 feet away in your mouth for 10 mil? Okay, this reminds me of like how apparently like 30 to 40% of males think they could 1v1 a bear. And it's like none of us could, but like, it's like, Ryan, honestly. Do you think you could 1v1 a bear? I would say, well, it depends on the terrain. It's like, yeah, I think I could stand a chance against a bear. Like, I easily could, right? A hundred grand or 10 mil for a cheese it Dude, I'm not going to lie. My mouth eye coordination is, like, absolutely immaculate. You could shoot that thing from 30 feet away, and it's going right down Main Street. But, I mean, um, what, what I meant was, well, because I, um... Yeah, no, I'm not missing. I'm not missing. I, I would actually I'd, I'd actually do the cheese it for 10 mil. Next Mr. Beast video. Lens of a bear is like a million miles an hour. Yeah, no, no, but they're only really good in straight lines, you know? I'm telling you, like, Stormy, I get up there, I start tapping the legs, I got sh movement. I'm quick, Stormy. That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying I can run a bear. I'm saying if I hit him with the little two-step, He's going right into a tree. I love how I mentioned this as like a crazy logical fallacy in guys. And then we all collectively agreed that we could all actually indeed fight a bear. I think I could take two adults and three babies at the same time. But I think the fourth baby would overwhelm me. What happened with babies? Um, nothing, nothing. I was just, we we're trying to figure out how many geese I could beat in a fight. Like Canada geese. Me planning to break into the local daycare I I at 3 p.m. in order to steal the mid-afternoon snacks. I could take two adults <laughs> and three babies at the same time. <laughs> but I think the fourth baby would overwhelm me. <laughs> that is level 66 necromancy. 
And then this is actually the last ritual for 2,000 souls. So then we get to go to the well and we get to upgrade a bunch of stuff. So we now have Command Skellington. Oh man. Actually, I've got enough points for everything. Okay. So now I want Conjure Zombie, Spectral Scythe, Blow Up Zombie. I guess I want the Ghost because it heals me, right? Threads of Fate and then Conjure the Ghost. Okay, we just gained so much power. Yeah, because then that way we can heal with the zombie ghost scythe. That's a f yeah, yeah, we're good now. Awesome. But you know what I was just thinking too? Like how great the scenery of Metapost is. And I was just thinking as well, it's like, dude, no one ever like, everyone just teleports straight to the pyramid with their book. Wouldn't it be cool if more streamers actually took the time to take in the beautiful scenery of Menaphos by running there. All these streamers obsessed with efficiency, just teleporting with the book. So it's, it is so beautiful the second time. I agree. You just, you missed so much on the first pass. Alrighty, that is my tier 60 upgrade unlocked. Awesome stuff. All right, we'll do that after the merchant. Dude, double plan is real hype actually, bang. 400k produce. Do I detect an upgrade? No, I don't. You hate to see it. I have just set up for group teleport to Trollheim and not enough for bar power. That's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. If the boys and I ever want to go to Trollheim, I've got it. I probably don't have the runes, honestly. That is 67 Ecromancy coming in. All right, that is a tier 60 Skull Lantern. Skull Lantern and Death Guard done. Okay, now I think I can do the full set of armor too. Oh, and these are spirit runes. I do not have spirit runes for this. Okay, that is full tier 60 Death Warden equipment. I'm already starting to get a crazy amount of life points, which is actually pretty great. Okay, so now we're on tier 60s. Um, in order to get level 70s, I have like more rituals and stuff to do, but I am not quite at the tier 70 point yet. So I think what I'm going to do is I think it might be time to kill stuff. Why don't I give myself holy egg overlords? Dude, what? I've had that in my bank this whole time? Past Ryan was a genius. Wait, that's actually clean. Wait, dude. We're almost getting 300k an hour right now. Yeah, this seems really good. That is level 68 Necromancer coming in. Because, yeah, so what we'll do here is we're going to get level 70, obviously. And then once we're at level 70, I think I should go back. Make my tier 70 gear that's augmentable. Okay, so what's the... Oh, I already know it's going to be armorable components, isn't it? I don't have armorable components, dude. No, I'm putting Undead Slayer on armor. I can't get Oceanic components, though, can I? Dude, perking this account is going to be so bad. I have two Oceanic components. That is level 69 Necromancy coming in. Not bad at all. And we unlock protection. That is level 70 Necromancy. 10 hours and 45 minutes after starting. We now have an absolute ton of stuff to do. Big level. This is Augment, so this is actually a really, really big level. Let's go. Also, I didn't realize this, but it looks like we need the Spirit of War quest to upgrade our Death Warden for tank or power. Yeah, I can't even make extra multiply glyphs right now. Okay, yeah, so we'll fix that. We'll make our multiply glyphs. And then we're gonna get 1,000 more souls. And then we're gonna get Hermod unlocked for the Spirit of War quest so we can get our augments. And I've already pre-made everything I need for level 70 upgrade. So that is level 71 Necromancy coming in. That is level 72 Necromancy. Wait, this is actually like, this is kind of really, really good. Rituals are the way. It is time for the Spirit of War quest and the quest that comes before it. All right, let's go. All right, quest complete. Next quest, the Spirit of War quest. Alrighty, that is the Spirit of War quest complete. It's huge and 350 QPs. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is get our quest dice and roll it. And then we're gonna do our upper upgrade. All right, Necromancy Lamp, 45K. That's actually solid too. It's level 73 coming in. That I win. A cat staff in two and a half mil. All right, I will happily disassemble that. So I should have absolutely everything needed for the armor upgrades, except for the runes. That's the one thing I don't think I have. Oh wait, I have to do the task though. What am I thinking? 20 greater communion souls. Wait, that's perfect. Cause a hundred greater communions will get me 4,500. Or sorry, 20, 20 greater communion souls. That's perfect. Yeah, completing the skill seems like it's going really well. That's level 74 coming in. Oh my god, Raziel, you need to stop talking. You're loud. And then what do I need for Tomes of the Warlock? 75. Okay. In one more level, we can do Tomes of the Warlock. And then I get... I get Darkness. Alrighty, the final ritual for 4,500 souls. Alright, goodbye, soul vessel. We will not be seeing you a whole lot more until level 90. So I complete the tunnel and then go to the last brother? So it's like one run in a bit, yeah? Kill the tunnel brother and then backtrack. Oh, cool, cool. Got it. Okay. Did I win? Oh, wait, that's kind of cool. Wait, why is it 20 mil? All right, 
let's learn the tier 80 upgrade tier 70 skull lantern and death guard which by the way they're very strong for tier 70s because they get the special attack too so you get those guys augmented up and let's make our armor too okay next step perk but yeah we're gonna get our perks and then we're gonna do our uh, our fight kiln to get our kiln cape i might just do the whole thing with necromancy i think it'll be more fun probably oh get in dude yeah one and four is actually really solid and let's see if i can make it even better one and eight but it saves you one component so that's not better and then we'll do more magic one more imbued wait one and four it really takes one explosive wait wait one and four with no explosives wait we actually just cooked but i am the perk calculator c4r3 <laughs> get on the bottoms <laughs> Skep three, skep two, skep two, skep two, skep two, skep two, skep three, skep two. Oh my god! I am so lucky! Get in the boat! So now you got C4R3, scavenging for looting, invigorating for its slayer, biting for mobile, and then we're gonna get Demon Slayer on our weapon. Anything else I'm missing for a fight kiln? I don't think so. Zuck after this. I think I have igneous stones. Yeah, I have three extras, so we're good. Into the kiln! Oh, wait, we can actually line up a threads combo here if you want. Okay, ready? Threads. And goodbye. That's so clean. That is level 75 necromancy coming in, which actually unlocks us a brand new quest to do as well, which is awesome. Uh, it's Tomes of Warlock. We have all the recs for it as well. So right after this, we're going to be doing that. All right, Harakid. See you, idiot. <laughs> I love that. Wait, that's a plot by an hour and a half. All right, that is a beautiful... <laughs> New cave. Looks really nice, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. It looks real good. Let's get our Zek cave. So, this is the magic Zek cave. They changed the color of it. And then the necromancy one is what the old magic one looked like. And we now have a necromancy Zek cave. Homes of the Warlock quest complete. And a massive 60k necromancy lamp. That is level 76 already. Which unlocks me living death. And also some skill tree stuff too. I think I get life transfer as well. That is level 77. Raziel. Yes. <laughs> um, that is a zombie champion scroll. I you know, should have expected it probably. That is 78 necromancy already. We are absolutely flying to level 80. So I think there's a chance I'm doing a necromancy let's chat. So what I want to do is I want to find a place that has custom pies. And I want to I wanna get all of the different pies that Killy requires. And then per guest, I want to try a different one, like a sample one. Like, who am I going to find in the Cambridge area that's going to make a fish pie? Cadaver berries aren't real. But 79 necromancy is. It's huge. Then cadaver is a play on cadaver. It caused people to appear dead after consumption for legal purposes. I just want to very quickly mention, I did not know that, and I am not planning on poisoning the devs. That is level 80 necromancy coming in, and we can get some tier 80s next. And then after that, we can go to Krill as well if we want to. All right, that's 40 Zamorak kill count. Let's go. Also known as Krill count. Get it? Because... All right, we're good. Wait, 98% hit chance? I'm actually crushing right now. And we kill you with melee for the ultimate disrespect. Anybody have a spare Bible? What's my hit chance gonna be like? Oh my God, he's so free. Okay, Necromancy's really strong. Wait, I got the achievement for a speed kill. There we go. Let's get it. Tier 80, so we're not gonna make the tank here yet because I don't have subjugation. And even if I did, you wanna wait till 90 before you actually do the insoling because it is very expensive. But for the weapons, we can do them basically right off rip. I just need miasma runes and greater and soul bars. That is level 81 necromancy coming in. All right, team. I think it's time for some brand new tier 80s. That is level 82 necromancy coming in. That is level 83 coming in. Yeah, we're just, we're flying. We're absolutely flying. Like the fact that at this level, we're getting a level every 25 minutes and all we need is 90 to start doing rituals for crazy XP. That is level 84 necromancy coming in. All right, that's all I wanted for today. And I think we might be able to get to the first necromancer tomorrow especially if I can AFK train some levels tonight. I think it would be extremely free to do.